Hey everyone, I'm the Chess Nerd. Welcome back to yet another video. Today is a very special video. I played the one and only Alexandra Botez. Uh, let's just be honest, I know she does some weird things on her stream where uh, sometimes she does a, something called the Botez Gambit and gives away a queen. She's a monster. In real life, she's an absolute monster and I got absolutely dominated in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, at some times you're gonna cry for me because it gets so bad. Um, I, it's, <laughs> I lost by a lot. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get on with it. So before we start the game, uh, I just wanted to talk about the circumstance of how I got to play Alexandra Botez. I know that is a rare feat uh, on chess.com. And honestly, I was just requesting a random match with anybody. I was just, it was an open search and I landed on Alexandra Botez, and the second it did, uh, I was like kind of freaking out in my chair. It, this is a bullet game, by the way. And so I checked afterwards and she was not streaming. So, you know, on, in her off hours, she does also, also play chess. And I was just in awe that I, I got uh, to get this challenge against her. Uh, sadly, she did not accept my rematch request, which I was bummed about. But uh, this is the game. So she starts out with d4, d5, and here bishop f4. So maybe trying for the London system here with e3, c3, and knight f3, uh, knight d2, as we well know it. And so bishop f4 is a clear indicator of someone who's trying to play the London system, question of getting their bishop out in front of their pawn structure so that the London system can happen. And so I go e6, knight f3, bishop d6, right? So challenging this bishop on f4 bishop g3 she reclines um you know she could take uh this would just leave let me take with the queen and you know potentially push c5 later on in the game it would favorize that anyways and if i take well she can still take here uh with the h pawn and open up her file here and later on in the game this can cost me because with a bishop on d3, this can have effect on my castle if she decides not to castle. So this is kind of a, a situation where I, I'm eyeing her bishop and she's eyeing mine. Knight f6, e3, uh, castles, knight d2. So this is uh, just a, a clear a clear fortress um, if, when she plays c3 here. Uh, this is a clear London system. Very solid, very annoying. I hate it h6 c3 and this london system is complete after bishop d3 here and so this is like textbook london system fortress i go a6 my plan is to go b5 and c5 here question to open up the c file and so queen c2 queen e7 knight e5 and so this is a very bright move from her she's trying to impose her knight on this weak square which she controls three times i only control twice and knight e5 is good, uh, but not yet. I wouldn't have played it yet. Here, it's still, you know, favorable for me. There's some lines where I can exchange this knight, and here uh, I can already take over uh, this bishop. And, uh, you know, not only do I double her pawns, but taking this bishop uh, would help my position. Uh, instead of what I did, which is not takes, uh, I was a bit uh, too polite, and I did not take the knight. Here, I decided to play c5. So, trying to open up the c file maybe and going on her queen b3 takes takes so this lets her you know do f4 in the future which uh, in retrospect i shouldn't have done i shouldn't have played this because f4 gets really strong um and there's not a burden of the e3 pawn uh being left behind and creating that sort of bad pawn structure Rook e8, castles, and queen f8. So I don't know really why I played this. This was a couple weeks ago, so it wasn't really me. Um, but queen f8 really, I think, tucks my queen in. Um, and uh, again, rook e8 is a weird move because there's just no future to even pushing this e6 pawn. So quite a quite weird play from me. Uh, rook e1, b5. And so here I just want to um, develop my bishop on b7 and, you know, place a rook on c8. Rook c1 and b4. This is my first mistake of the game. Uh, what b4 does, it lets go of this uh, c4 hold. And once I play b4, this just gives her an easy pass to play c4. And I think I lacked patience here, honestly, because I had a good, I had a good playable position after bishop b7 and rook c8 here uh, and just capitalizing on this open file. 
semi-open file. B4 and now C4. So this lets her, you know, she has all options from here. She can push C5, get a pass pawn, or she can take my D5 pawn and open up this C file for herself. So I need to take here, and once she takes, this pawn is a home run. Um, so this pawn is passed, and this is a, she has a lot of space. I don't have much space, and you know, after bishop b7 here, yes, my bishop is developed, and all my pieces are, but I think it's too late because it just gives her this pass, right, of c5, uh, c6. And so she does c5, and now c6, and already the game is over. Like, I'm down a piece. This fork is inevitable because, um, you know, I can't even take this knight because uh, she would take my bishop and attack my rook, and this is over. So c6 and the game is over, but just for fun, um, you'll see what was played. Um, yeah, she, w which was weird is that she, she didn't take uh, this bishop instead of uh, taking this knight. Uh, if she takes this bishop, I, I saw it during the game, I was like, I could not believe she missed this. She not only attacks my bishop here, she still attacks my knight, she attacks my rook with queening, uh, which is the bigger threat. So let's say the desperado knight takes d3, she takes here with you know, chances, so I have to take back, and takes, and this is completely uh, over with, uh, bishop takes, bishop takes, and she's a full rook up, and I would have resigned, um, I played extra long on this game to make her suffer, because, um, I, I was so sad that my opportunity was wasted in this game, so, I just play on, knight d5, and now she's a bishop up, and, you know, after I move my rook, she's a full bishop up, <laughs> And uh, it's already completely lost. The computer says plus eight uh, in this position. So I'm basically down a queen uh, when you think about it. So bishop e4 takes, 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 knight f3. And, you know, it's getting a bit better for me. I got a pawn back that was very important. And, you know, maybe I might have some, some surviving chances. I'm not even going to try to say draw chances. But yeah, some surviving chances if I get my bishop out of the way and I get clean. Um... And I do like rook d7, maybe push this pawn up. Uh, it's a pass pawn. But yeah, overall, my position is still completely compromised. And rook e6 is just the top of, of the cheese. Um, let's uh, knight d4 with the chances on my rook and, you know, tempo. And now e6 is a, a pass pawn. And now my, my bishop is completely compromised here. Uh, beautiful fork and beautiful play by Alexandra Botez. So knight queen f6, knight takes, and b3. Uh, really just hoping for her to, uh, you know, this is a bullet game, so anything can happen. This is a reason why I played on. Gain rating points off that. Um, so knight takes d5, attacking my queen. Queen f7 and queen c8. Uh, king h7 and knight f4. Rook b2, rook e8, and here I resigned. Um... Not because of time, I had 10 seconds left on my clock, but rook e8 is so strong, it's threatening rook uh, h8 mate, and the computer actually says mate in 9 here, um, and mate in 9 by sacrificing my queen on her rook. So yeah, this is completely over, and uh, congratulations to you, Alexandra Botez. I would love a rematch next time if we could, and that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Blast me in the comments, roast me. I was just completely terrible this game. It was not the same performance as against Jen Shahad, uh, whom I beat. Uh, go see that video, it will be right up here. And have an amazing day. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And don't forget, the donation link is open. If you can beat the highest donation, then you will have your name uh, on my screen for the uh, chess analysis videos. So good luck to you all, and see you next time.